Greetings everyone and welcome to another WIS technology tutorial. In today's lesson I will be demonstrating a technique I use to conditionally modify uh, what's being displayed on an awesome table via my spreadsheet. So in this instance I have a Google form that asks for two different links and the condition is going to be that the Google Drive folder link is essentially a draft of the final document and then the YouTube link is the published version so um, what I'd like to do is be able to toggle back and forth uh, between what's displayed on my awesome table based on the status of the project so I've submitted this form and it landed in this form responses sheet and you'll notice I've added a status column and the options are published and draft and when I toggle between these the site icon which is right here and the URL actually changes you can kind of see right here this is now referring to a Google Drive folder and if I come over to here or published it goes to the YouTube video. Well, how does that look on the awesome table on a Google site? So here's actually my my awesome table. Um, very simple. Um, and again, this this toggles. This is just a query, so it's it's pulling it from the form responses sheet. But if I go over to the awesome table, I'm going to refresh. We can see right now that the status of that document, it's published. Um, but if I needed to display only the draft version, what I would do then is simply change this to a draft mode. And I can come over here, and when this is refreshed, the icon and link that is displayed is a Google Drive uh, folder link. So how is this accomplished? Well, if we look at my spreadsheet, you'll notice I've hidden several columns. Um, if I reveal them, you'll see how I've been assembling the various URLs. And I'm going to go over quickly some of the, the formulas that allow this to, to take place. So th the first thing what I did was I placed the beginning attribute of the uh, anchor tag A href. So I know this goes at the beginning of every single URL. Uh, that I want to be an active link that's clickable on my awesome table. So I did that. Um, and then what I did was I sort of concatenated that to uh, the actual URL um, from the form, right? So here, for example, is a Google Drive link. And I just named this one Logic Drive. So I'm concatenating the beginning attribute with the Google Drive folder link in an array formula. So this way it doesn't need to copy down. It'll just sort of dynamically uh, add info as, as needed. Um, and this applies for the YouTube as well. So it's the exact same concept. So then after the, the logic drive, then what I needed to do was um, create the end attribute. Um, and it looks a little bit like this. Um, so this is simply a link to the icon, which is in a somewhere accessible. In this case, it's just in my public Dropbox. And what this is, is finishing off the URL and having it open in a new window. So that's that. And then um, the actual construction of the URL takes place in these columns. So if it's a YouTube link, it's built here. And again, it's another just array formula with a concatenation. So in this case, you can see it is concatenating um, the drive column uh, with the end attribute uh, column. So that's essentially how I am building that. And then the condition arises based on the site icon column. So notice I've added a little if in here. So this is, again, an array formula. and it's saying if D2 to D, this is the status column. So if it says published, then what needs to go, so if, if the statement is true, what needs to go in this column is the YouTube icon and link, which is right here. All right. 
So and again, this is another conditional formula, which I didn't actually talk to, but this would be a previous step, is to populate the drive folder icon and the YouTube icon uh, based on um, a specific uh, condition. So, but going back to the site icon, um, again, so if this changes to draft, then it's going to populate whatever is in G2 to G. So it's toggling back and forth between these two columns based on these words. And we can see this happen right here. So this published. And then if I go over to the awesome table, we see now we can tell that this is a YouTube link. And if I make it a draft, and go back to the awesome table, it's now a Google Drive folder. So there you have it. Um, there's probably a more efficient way this could be accomplished using templates. Um, I struggled around trying to use templates for a while, but couldn't quite get the effect I was looking for through templates. Um, but I was able to do it through uh, spreadsheets. So it's just a one strategy, and, and I hope you've enjoyed this concept of sort of dynamically creating uh, links on your awesome table based on a condition. Thanks for watching. Bye.